Yeah, what's going on everybody? This is Misko. I am on the 10.2 beta because there have been a lot of changes to Mistweaver, both good and some bad ones. I'm not gonna lie, there were some bad ones. So I'm gonna go through every single change that you need to know that they've announced. Now, of course, this is beta, so things can change, but they've already rolled out some changes on beta. So I'm gonna go over them and see what you guys think and give you my thoughts. First off, let's talk about our tier set. So our tier set is whenever you renewing Miss somebody, it will apply a Chi Harmony to the target, increasing their healing taken from you by 50% for eight seconds. So it's as simple as just putting Renewing Mist on somebody and they get a buff. Chi Harmony, healing taken increased by 50%. Notice that it is magic, so this is purgeable in PvP. I also wanna note in PvP, this is nerfed by 50%. So instead of increase their healing taken by 50%, it's actually 25%. I can run over to this target dummy right here whack them and it's going to swap from 50 percent to 25 percent so but s simply by just keeping your renewing mist on your teammates whether you're in a raid mythic plus or pvp you're just going to have passive healing done to your teammates now this also does apply to the talent rapid diffusion so of course this is going to be very strong for fist weaving when you use rising sun kick it's going to apply renewing mist to somebody or enveloping mist and that Renewing Mist is going to apply that buff. And I'll show you right here. If I Soothing Mist and Velvet Mist, let's just find where it goes right here. Nope, where they go? Where'd my Renewing Mist go? Right over here. You could see that this person has the Chi Harmony from the Renewing Mist from the Rapid Diffusion. So this is going to be a very, very good talent for just in general healing, Fist Weaving and Cast the Healing. This is a pretty solid two set. As far as a four set goes, 20% of all healing you do to targets with Chi Harmony is stored and then dispersed evenly among your allies with Renewing Mist when Chi Harmony fades or is refreshed. So this one doesn't really have much thought to it, really. You kind of just, what you want to do is you want to put your Renewing Mist, or this has been bugged on beta. I think they just fixed it. What you want to do essentially is just use your healing rotation, uh, heal as much as you can. And then when it goes away, you see that little 53k. That was the that was the Chi Harmony. It stored 20% of the healing it did uh, to this target. And then as soon as it expires, it's going to just it's like a little mini burst of life. So it's a, it's I overall I think this is a pretty good two set and four set. I have no issues with it. I think it's gonna be very strong in PvP. The only issue I do have is that it's not a damage reduction. They could have easily made instead of 50% more healing or 25% more healing, just make it like a 10 15 percent damage reduction which i guess is op it could be five ten percent you know five percent in pvp ten percent in pve like something like that i just feel like mistweavers are always lacking damage reduction because i always feel like we don't need more healing like we we, we we have so much healing we have so much healing output like we, we can heal we get it but we need something we need some kind of utility that kind of helps us out to, uh, you know, deal, you know, play, compete against the other healers. Here are the changes to Mistweaver that they first announced, and there's actually quite a few of them, which is kind of nice. So Life Cocoon healing increased by 33%. I'm not going to complain about that. They've been buffing Life Cocoon for like eight expansions now. I, <laughs> I'm i not complaining. Soothing Mist healing increased by 40%. This, I don't mind this either. Uh, it's, it's kind of core to the cast and Mistweaver rotation. I enjoy that it's going to do more healing because there's some times where you're just going to sit there and channel your soothing mist and it's really really nice and velvet mist healing increased by 25 percent of course this is our this is our best hot right this is hands down our best heal in the game so if they want to buff the envelopment mist healing by 25 percent which is absolutely freaking insane i will take it i'm kind of sad about this nerf missy peak's chance to trigger reduce to 2.5 slash 5 percent was 5 slash 10 percent it was already an rng talent so this is the talent right here this talent right here and yeah it's just nerfed by 50 percent straight up i'm kind of sad about it i really am i wish that they maybe i maybe if they reduced the the rng of it you know the proc chance but then increase the duration of the envelopment because it's still two seconds when it procs and it's just it's just weird it's like half half the chance to happen for the same duration i'm not i'm not a big fan of this change i really like the misty peaks especially when you're stacking haste and shuffle or pve which i think i, I really really like so yeah, I'm kind of sad about it. Kind of sad about this change. Envelope Breath now heals up to five. Numerate targets with six. This one you're going to see mostly in raids. Uh, I guess, I I don't know. I I, I know Mistweavers are underperforming in raids. I know they're not the worst, but I know they're not the best. So I guess they just nerfed it by one target, which is kind of unfortunate. Still going to be solid in Mythic Plus, obviously, and, and Arenas, of course. Uh, invigorating Mist healings increased by 25%. So this is the Cleave Heal right here so whenever you put renewing mist on somebody your vivify when you press it is going to heal everybody that has renewing mist on them so if i put renewing mist on ala alal right here and i heal this guy right here 
This guy's gonna get healed for my vivifies. Love the talent. Very, very core to Mistweavers. So now reduced be uh is now reduced beyond five targets. So again, they're kind of capping our AoE healing. Um I wish I knew why. I really do. It's kind of unfortunate that they're nerfing it, but again, maybe maybe we're doing better raids than I thought. But I, I didn't I didn't think we were. Burst of life healing increased by a hundred percent. So that's that's pretty good. Burst of life is right here. Uh, I think it competes with, where is it? Oh, it competes with Chrysalis. So when Life Cocoon expires, it releases a burst of mist that restores 120k health to three nearby allies. One little trick if you do use this talent is if you Life Cocoon somebody, or especially yourself, and you LOS everybody, uh, you can actually, that heal doesn't get spread. You take that full heal. So that's, so that's a pretty good change. Vivify direct healing is increased by 30%. I'm not going to complain about Vivify healing. I think it's good. I love it. I think this is, uh, you know, I'm not going to complain about it because it's going to counteract somewhat with this nerf right here. Now, this nerf, I, uh, to give you some history about Cloud of Focus, they have nerfed, buffed, nerfed, buffed, nerfed Cloud of Focus five or six times now. So they're going, they're reverting this change. By the way, this is how Cloud of Focus started, and then they buffed it. And now they're nerfing it like for the fourth time now. So Cloud of Focus now increases the healing and decreases the mana cost of Vivify and Enveloped Mist by 15% per stack was 20%. They've made this change four times now, at least. And it's just unfortunate because uh, sadly we do, Cast and Mistweaver does rely on Cloud of Focus for everything. We are crutched on this one talent that increases our healing and reduces the mana cost of our spells. I mean, that's just what it is. We, if we, if Cloud of Focus wasn't in the game and they didn't make this legendary like a talent, we would have nothing so now our stacks are going to be 15 30 45 percent instead of 20 40 60 and it doesn't make a much of a difference at like one or two stacks but comparing 45 percent healing increase and in mana reduction to 60 percent it's pretty significant so i'm kind of sad about this change i don't like this change i they've they've nerfed and buffed this so many times that i've lost track but i'm kind of sad about this change i uh, don't think it's gonna be good for mistweavers um ancient teaching this so this is a this is a major buff by the way ancient teachings range increased to 40 yards was 30 yards so that's obviously the fist weaving build right here 40 yards so one of the biggest downsides of fist weaving at least in pvp probably similar to raiding not so much with the plus plus you know you're always like together but i feel like in raiding and in pvp you would have teammates or you know party members that would outrange your ancient teachings not anymore 40 yards is pretty good 40 yards is pretty far you know i in pvp if you're fist moving with like a warlock or a mage and they pour or blink away that farther than 30 yards they weren't going to get any heals same with rating i'm sure there were mechanics that went out when the if the boss is here and the, someone has to bring a mechanic or something all the way out like over here probably couldn't reach you with your ancient teachings healing and now you can so this is that change is is really good really really good i'm happy i don't fist weave that much but it's really good for the people that do fist weave more you know i fist weave when i can so i'm kind of happy about this ancient concordance now costs one point so that is i'm assuming this yeah so wow okay so they're freeing up a point down here that's kind of nice okay that's cool so ancient concordance used to be two two you know two points and they're just making it one point yeah, this is neat. So you can be able to get one extra point here. And I think you're going to either go Focus Thunder or Sea of Serenity, depending on I, I, PvP or PvE. I don't think it matters. I like Focus Thunder a lot. So I think this might be the build right here when you're fist weaving. And then they changed our current two set. So what they don't want, and it would actually be insane, is if you have the two set from the previous raid, Abaris, and then got the new two set. So you'd have the increased healing from the Chi of Harmony. And you'd have the increased healing from here. So they're just changing our two set. I don't think this is that significant. I don't think we're going to use it. Maybe we will. Maybe there's some crazy build out there. But I think for the most part, this change doesn't really matter. For the PvP changes, they're just to counteract the buffs we got. That's that's pretty much it. So they nerfed Revelt Mist in PvP by 15%. And then they nerfed Vivify in PvP by 10%. But that's okay because they just buffed our Vivify Direct Heal by 30%. They buffed Enveloping Mist by 25%. So I think all of the, those changes in PvP are just counteracts to like, you know, Cloud of Focus, Vivify, inv Invigorating Mist, like all these changes. So overall, I think I, I'm not complaining about these changes. These changes are pretty good. A lot of our healing output, of course, is getting buffed. Um, kind of sad about the Misty Peaks change. Very sad. Very, very sad about the Cloud of Focus change. We might be struggling for mana. I don't know. Mana T feels pretty good right now, but in PvP, I, I don't know if we're going to be struggling for mana, but we might be. And then obviously the 40 yards ancient teaching is absolutely insane. Next, let's talk about this release. This is a day old, maybe two days old. And they're talking about Mistweaver Defensive's surprise. They uh, they caught on after three expansions. They finally caught on that Mistweavers are uh, 
a bit squishy. So they're <laughs> these are the changes I am not the biggest fan of, and we're just gonna talk about it. So they released that Miss Weaver squishier than what we would like. It's been four expansions. Yeah. They've nerfed Fort Brew three times. So it's that's all I'm saying. Particularly for a primary melee based healer. So right here, I I don't know what they're saying right here. A primarily melee best based healer. They just added a, like Ancient Teachings of the Monastery last expansion, and they made it a talent this expansion. And we've been a caster healer most of that time. So I don't know why they're saying we're primarily a melee best healer. I know that they're pushing fist weaving a lot, but this right here I don't like because I feel like we're mostly a caster spec. Uh, but And they say its defensive cool toolkit is based mainly around active spells. So they talk about Fort Brew, Damp and Harm, Diffuse Magic, and Healing Elixir. So we have four, four buttons that we need to press to utilize our defensives and make sure we don't die in pretty much any scenario. We don't feel it's appropriate to ask Mistweavers to actively manage nearly every part of the defensive kit to play at the highest level. So we want to explore passivity for Healing Elixir. So what they're saying here is they want to make Mistweavers easier to play. They're recognizing that Mistweavers are, you know, defensively hard to play and they want it to be a bit easier. So what they're doing and I am not, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of this, but what they're doing is they're changing Healing Elixir to make it a passive. And they have rolled this out on beta. So Healing Elixir is right here in the talent tree. And what they've changed it to is instead of having two charges of Healing Elixir that you press, that I think it restores 15% of your health, what it does is you consume, It's, it's a, this is a passive by the way, this is a passive spell, it's not an active spell. You consume a Healing Elixir when you drop below 35% health and are not in a loss of control effect, instantly healing you for 15% of your max health. You regenerate one healing elixir every 30 seconds, stacking up to two times. So they specified that you are not, this cannot happen if you're in a loss of control effect. So if you're in a stun, you can, I mean, you already couldn't, but like you cannot press healing elixir. If you're feared and like, you know, you get warrior feared or something in PvP and they're hitting you and you drop below 35% health, you're, it's not going to go off. And... I feel like in PvE, it's normally either you're going to get one shot, you're going to live for the mo at higher keystones and in, in raids, I feel like. There, this might be used in some scenarios, but I'm going to be honest here. I don't like this change at all. Um, I, I, You're losing a choice. So, for example, when I play against an Affliction Warlock and I, ha and I make the choice to dispel an Unstable Affliction, I'm going to take a lot of damage. And then right now I use Healing Elixir to heal myself because you can use it while silenced. This takes away that choice. Because what if I don't drop below 35% health? Now I dispel, I get silenced, and I'm dying. So you, I, I, I don't like this a lot. I just hate that I'm losing the the choice to use a spell that I have. And they're just making it, oh, it's, it's just making it passive. You know what would be nice? Is if Damp and Harm wasn't so weird, first off. So this reduces all damage you take by 20 to 50%. Just, okay. For 10 seconds with larger attacks being reduced by more. Why don't we just uh, <laughs> make pick a number, you know, give, give us like a, a wall, you know, or, you know, for example, fortifying brew. Let's be honest here. This is a six minute cooldown. I really think about that. Fortifying brew is a six minute cooldown. I think it's one of the longest cooldowns in the game. How long is bubble? Five minutes. And that's immunity to everything, damage, everything. And fort brew, <laughs> it's a six minute cooldown that... I, essentially does nothing it, re it really you die through four brew like it's it's nothing even with the enhanced four brew i play i play the iron shell brew that increases my armor by 25 percent and increases my dodge by 25 percent. so i play this and i still i still die through it in pve and pvp so i don't know i think they got to work on i think they need to leave healing elixirs alone just i, I give people a choice to play healing elixirs because there is outplay to it in pvp there's there's scenarios where you can outplay with it, and I love it. And then in Mythic Plus, there you still use healing elixirs. It's great for having a quick instant heal for yourself when you need it. And I would rather them work on Fort Brew, Damp and Harm. I think Diffuse Magic is actually perfect. So leave leave Diffuse Magic alone. Don't touch Diffuse Magic. Don't touch Fort Healing Elixirs. Damp and Harm and Fort Brew are the two buns I would I would mess around. Next up, they're touching one of my favorite spells that nobody uses. 
and it's expel harm i love expel harm uh, so what they're doing is several changes expel harm have made to increase its viability for misweavers and fully integrate it into the kit to be honest i use expel harm off cooldown so i don't you know <laughs> like i use this off cooldown uh this is an off global option like healing elixirs so they're keeping dampen or expel harm on the gcd uh, so it could be instead be used more impactful or reducing the total APM. Someone told me what APM means. I don't know what APM means. Basically, they, they want to make it a button you press. Uh, we try to play Mistweaver Optimi in tense moments, but that's what makes Mistweaver so fun. I, I Maybe I could be in the minority here. This is what makes Mistweaver a lot of fun. Uh, this is a bit of a trade-off, but we're hoping to overall feel like a healing elixir, but punchier. So I don't know what this means. We're hoping to overall feel it like feel is like healing elixir or punchier so maybe they're gonna buff expel harm like crazy you know make it actually heal for something i don't know let me see what expel harm heals for right now uh it heals for 19k with a gust of mist so 36k heal on 560k yeah it'd be nice if expel harm actually did healing uh that'd be nice so that that's pretty good and then this change right here just makes me so sad so soothing mist functionality with expel harm will be removed to avoid having to tune around healing allies it it's so sad so right now when you use expel harm when you're using soothing mist what it does it heals your target and yourself and i love that we also want to help the clash tree to make it more satisfying to path through as expel harm talents will be more of an enticing option so that's great that's fantastic so they're looking to probably but they're not these changes aren't in the game yet it seems like uh they're tr i guess they're gonna buff the three yeah expel harm talents which is great um, and then they talked about our two, our uh, four set, I believe. Yeah, our four, our four set's been bugged on beta for a while, so you can't have action been able to test how much healing you can do. But the, it's been bugged on beta. Those are the changes. Pretty much a lot of healing buffs, which are always fantastic. And then they're making our healing elixir a passive, which uh, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of. I would rather them focus on either dampen harm or Fort Brew. One of those two spells would be fantastic. I do love the change to Aging Teachings, increasing the yards. Not the biggest fan of them nerfing Cloud of Focus, but they did buff our Vivify healing. So that's pretty good. The issue is that they're also reduced the mana cost uh, percentage for each stack of Cloud of Focus. So there's a good chance that we might have a mana issue going into 10.2. It's going to depend on damage. You know, consistent damage is normally kind of hard to heal. Yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, Please let me know. I am more than happy to test anything on beta. I'm more than happy to try anything on beta. I can maybe try to find a Mythic Plus if you guys want to see some keystones. Nobody's doing the nobody's doing the uh, arena. No one's doing skirms. No one's doing anything like that. I could do the battleground bits blitz if people want to see that. So please uh, let me know. I am more than happy to do any of that. And that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.